Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can show an alternative version of your logo on an individual page in your Squarespace website. We're going to be doing this with just a little bit of custom CSS. And as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below. But there are five key steps that you'll need to take to make this code work for your own unique website. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and share my screen to teach you exactly how to use these codes in Squarespace. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and these are the five steps we're going to take so we can have an alternative logo image on an individual page. The first thing you need to do is upload your image to your custom files. To do this, navigate to Website, select Website Tools, and select Custom CSS. Above the area where we can type our CSS, you'll see a dropdown for Custom Files. Click on this dropdown and then click the plus sign so you can grab the file from your computer or drag and drop it right there and it will upload to the server that your Squarespace website is on. Now the next thing we need to do is a little tricky. We're going to add the CSS, but only temporarily. I'm gonna grab this code right here. This is listed in the description below. I'll paste it into my custom CSS and immediately you'll see a syntax error because this is not correct code to have in your CSS panel because of these style brackets, but we're only gonna leave it there for a hot second. What I'm gonna do now is highlight this text for the placeholder for that image URL, the image we just uploaded, highlight that text, hit the backspace button on my keyboard and automatically Squarespace will paste the URL for the image we just uploaded. Now on the off chance you have multiple images here, just open up the dropdown, click on the image and it will replace that placeholder text. Now that you've updated your code, I want you to copy this on your keyboard and remove it from your CSS files. So we updated the placeholder text, we copied the CSS, now take it out of there, and we're going to add it to an individual page. Back in our website menu under Pages, find the page that you want to have the alternative logo on. Click on this gear icon and select Advanced and paste your code right here. Now in page header code injection, you can have different types of code. So that's why we had to add these style brackets to say, hey computer, this is CSS that we want on just this page. I'll go ahead and select save. The page will refresh and you'll notice my logo has now changed to the alternative version. Now, if you're using a personal plan or you want to change your logo on a blog post or a product page, you need to use a code block instead. Clicking on this gear icon right here, we'll go back into advanced, we'll get rid of that code and select save and we need to hop into edit mode. To add this code block, I want you to select add block in the very first page section for your individual page. Don't do this in the footer, this needs to be on the page. I'm gonna double click on this code block and paste my code right here. And you'll notice immediately my logo changes. This block of code will only show up on this individual page and this is a great way to get this alternative logo to display on a single page if you're on a personal plan. We'll go ahead and select save and we'll select exit just so you can see the code block itself is not visible. This is just code we added to the background of our Squarespace website. So it's not going to change anything else about the page. But I do recommend if you're on a business or commerce plan, click on the gear icon, select advanced and paste your code here in page header code injection. That will load faster than a code block on the page. But if you're on a personal plan, that's not an option. We'll go and discard those changes, add a code block by hopping into edit mode, selecting add block in the very first section, double clicking on that code block and pasting it right there. Again, the code block will be invisible to the user, but visible to the computer. And the computer will know to share the alternative logo on this individual page. When you're all done, select save and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes that we just used to create this effect in Squarespace. But a quick reminder, if you are watching this on YouTube, I can't include those unique style brackets in the YouTube description. You'll need to click the link onto the blog post if you want to copy and paste that code directly into your Squarespace website. Again, I'll have that link in the description below. You'll also find links to other related content down there. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, give the video a like and check out some of the other content I've created that can help you make Squarespace uniquely yours. Thank you so much for watching this this tutorial, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.